legend. That's the thing. Sand snake. I wonder if that was based off of my level or yours. I'm guessing mine, but wrong button always. Oh yeah, that's level 12. I can actually use that. Depend on the stair? What do you mean? Oh, stars. Ah, oh, yeah. Nah, oh, man. The bug. Once I master the martial arts, what will happen after that, huh? What am I supposed to do afterwards? That's... I don't know. Let's see who's he gonna have. Riolu, no way! That's cool. Um... U-turn? I don't know. Not very effective. That was the worst thing I could've chosen. <laughs> yeah, breaks them. Don't get one shot, please. Ooh, perfect. That was actually a good choice. <laughs> Flame charge. Yeah. Oh yeah, what did you tell me to name him? I forgot. <laughs> Side beam. Okay, I found it. Oh ho. Alright, I'll do that right now. The witch bullet tail. Okay. Let me box. Or not box. I'm here anyways though. Change nickname. X. It changed nickname. Ah. I didn't realize. So, oh. Wrong button. <laughs> X. Poke portal. Terror raid battle, right? It's this guy again. Is, was this one Kingdra, Cedra? I forgot. It's a trade evolution, so I'll give you one to evolve. Oh, okay. Cool. Cedra. Kingdra, the, uh, the trade evolution. <laughs> no way. It's my cat leveled up. That'll be me one day. Never mind. Now it's my... Oh, wait. Fox. That's... Now it's the fox. My fox leveled up. Let's go. I am not going to do enough, huh? Oh, well. <laughs> I didn't even get to attack. <laughs> the powerful fox. Woo, Cedra. People drunk on Meowskarada because of furries. I honestly like. It's the evolution? Oh, yeah. I like the grass cat too. The final evolution. It was my favorite final evolution, which is why I decided to choose it. It was between that or the crocodile, but I liked the cat. Now try to trade, yeah? Ah, uh, did the mud ray disappear? I was hoping to. Oh, wait, there's the mud ray up here. Come on, stop failing to climb up this. Uh, and awesome. you caught the Cedra too now. Let me just try and catch this. Mud Ray real quick. Level 16 Bite, I guess. It did a lot less than I thought. I need a Scyther that's just really high leveled. <laughs> what are the chances I can just catch it like this, huh? Two. One. Okay. I got lucky. It's a donkey. The Link Trade, yeah? I don't even know if you're ready. <laughs> if you need more time, let me know. <laughs> okay. So you get the level 35 Cedra. Trade it. I'll miss you, Cedra. It's water steel. Right, I keep on forgetting to press plus or A. Water with steel terra, yeah. Has dragon breath and water pulse. Goodbye, Cedra. And it's Cedra, no way. I traded Cedra for a Cedra. <laughs> Take good care of Cedra. Oh, what's this? Cedra's evolving. And that's your Cedra evolved into a Kingdra! Wow! <laughs> Thank you. One step closer. Now what direction do I actually need to go in? Um... Up! Or no, wait. Where's my marker? Across the river somehow. Probably around. I think. Hello, what? Go to you? Oh. I killed that little guy. I did not mean to. Can I go to you? Like, is that a thing I can do? <laughs> oh, okay. This map is so confusing. <laughs> this direction. Which one? <laughs> I see you over here. Yeah. Okay. I need to cross the river somehow, so... <laughs> My guess is up. I'll be there in no time. At least I can run now. And yep. I can unlock this one too on the way there. Unlock for me, please. Just heal my Pokemon. Thank you. Now... Wrong button. Yep, continue up and to the right. Ah, man. <laughs> Rockruff. I'm sorry, Rockruff. It has to be done. Oh? 
What's it to tell? Who's calling me right now? Yo, Pablo. So, from what I gather, it seems like the open sky titan lives somewhere up on that mountain. Well, I know. But, I mean, I might as well get the levels if it started the fight. Lives somewhere up on the mountain, but there's all these crazy boulders raining down from the mountain, too. It's going to be a little tricky to stand around and look for the titan while dodging all those. I bet you'll be sent flying if you get hit by a falling boulder. But maybe you could power your way through atop that brute of yours. So... Is it not this one? <laughs> oh, is that guy just over there? <laughs> well, here's the one I've been looking for. Hello. I'll follow you. I'll assume that you know where you're going. <laughs> What's going on over there? Is that the Star Raid? See, I can't fly. <laughs> it's a Numel. Let me just unlock this place. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Cool. So now the objective is somewhere in this direction, right? Because this is the Asada Desert. You're just jumping off, okay. Let's go. It's been so long since I've been here. But it's a toe. It's going to be Arvin again. <laughs> hey, Pablo. Apparently this desert is home to the Quaking Earth Titan. Speaking of which, the ground's been shaking off and on and Eric making me a bit sick. Sorry, I'm going to just sit down and rest a little before I go back to Titan hunting. Okay. Now, for this area, though, I think that probably Duck is going to be the best bet. Is it that thing? Maybe Duck isn't the best bet. I'm not sure. I could possibly just get beat up right now. That's fully likely. That's gonna... Leveled up. Soak? What's Soak? I don't know. And... Uh, um, What else would be useful? I don't know. Let's give him another level. I don't know when he evolves. But I'm guessing it's not gonna be soon. PMs, treasures, picnic items, key items. Where am I... Other items. I have a lot of thingies. I should probably actually use something. No. Maybe? You would be good for the cat. Imbued with life force that boosts the power of the holder's grass attack. Uh, no. You know what? Sure. Hold the swift feather, will you? Why not? Something would be good. Hey, this guy is terrifying. <laughs> The crab was not nearly as intimidating. <laughs> what level are the things around this area? You are... 26. So... He could beat me up. <laughs> I am right about that. I'm gonna use all my levels on him. Better to be safe. 31. Psych up? No, oh, that's fine. 33. There we go, that's what I was hoping for. What? Duck is evolving? No way, Duck is evolving. He's the other Duck now. Gold Duck. Now I have a new Duck. So, what level, what moves do I even have on him? Nothing else that would be useful. Okay, let's go fight this thing and die. Hey, buddy. Just walk into me, will you? Or you know what, maybe, maybe? Oh, he'll never see me coming, you know? I'm messing up the controls again. I don't even remember the button to actually s s crouch. Forget about it. Hello. Oh, great. I'm still gonna die. <laughs> Don Fan. What's it to tell? Who is it? Hello, this is Professor Sada. Great touch is a Pokemon that came from the great crater of Paldea. I ask that you do whatever is needed to subdue it for me. With all due caution, of course. Yes, it is Weed Phone. Oh, great. My best move is Aqua Tail. Brick Break? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna die. <laughs> that thing almost one-shot me. <laughs> I think I am dying. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, that did a lot more damage than I thought it was gonna do. <laughs> you can give me something? What would you give me? Seed Bomb? I don't even fight fast enough <laughs> to fight it. <laughs> okay, well, I'm dead here. Apparently, I'm too slow. <laughs> I should probably just run. <laughs> I can't escape. Okay. Uh, can you come back, Psyduck, please? Duck recovered from fainting. Great Tusk. I didn't kill him? <laughs> Out of all of them, it didn't kill him? <laughs> okay. It didn't kill the poison fish. But it one-shot the... Duck that I gave the speed buff. Go duck. 
I don't even know what to do. Aquatel. He's dead again. He's just faster than I am. <laughs> I don't even get a chance to attack. How did it work then? Breaks the mold. I don't know what that did. It's... I don't know what you meant. <laughs> okay. And I can't run away, so... <laughs> Go, Pommy. Oh. Dig. <laughs> nope. Well, here comes Toho. He's just gonna get murdered by this guy. I only got to hit him once. I don't know what that is. Sure. <laughs> if I can even use it. Oh, okay. Where's the restore your Pokemon? Did I not lose any health from that? Or like money? Why'd I say health? I mean, I can just try to level up more. <laughs> it's fine. Mankey, attack. I do wonder what these things are. Come help me out with this thing, yeah? We can do the... Whatever this is called. The crystal. Oh, it's your crystal. <laughs> Go, Golduck. Oh, Kingdra? Well, the thing is, I don't think I I can. Or can I? Like, he's not... I guess because it's not traded, huh? Hmm. Let me see if he'll listen to me. Attack. He's not attacking. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he'll listen to me. <laughs> yeah, no. The guy doesn't like me. But then when it comes to duck... What level are these guys even? Level 15, okay. Give me things to fight, Asado Desert. Level 22? Beat him up, yeah. Good job, duck. These snakes don't stand a chance. Like, I'm doing fine killing all the things around here. But that... Don fan just messed me up. <laughs> oh, that guy messed me up. <laughs> I guess I'll see grass. Hmm... Oh, this guy. <laughs> you know what? Maybe... Oh, who's this? I can't even tell. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> it's so... Oh, it's the Sandcastle. <laughs> He's level 30. I could fight him. <laughs> Sandy Gas? Use the Sandcastle. Use Aqua Tail. Oh. Okay. This is the wrong move to use, huh? Because he's like... Grass terastalized. I did not mean to use it again. <laughs> I was spam clicking A. <laughs> I did not realize what I clicked. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna let him kill my duck. That actually did nothing. I accidentally gave him double defense. And I think I made him not be able to be killed. Not really. This isn't gonna go well though. Flame charge. Yeah, okay, no, I'm never gonna kill this guy. <laughs> that two defense <laughs> messed me up. <laughs> and I just... I'm not gonna kill this guy with that defense. I see a Pokestop over there. Let's go. I think maybe what I'll do is I'll just do the actual... The Star Road one. And then I'll call it. Oh, a bike. Okay, so the... The Star Team thing... The first one is where... Is this a star team or is that Starfall Street? Yeah, this one. I wish when you zoomed in, it would zoom into the one that you were looking at. I am so lost. There we go. This is the center. Over here. Got it. Let's go. That's not too far. You're at school doing classes in game. Getting the education. That's good. Totally. What's down there? Oh, it's a Growlithe. I'll catch the Pokemon later. For now, my mission is the Star Road. Can this guy not climb up this random rock? There you go. Gnarl. Is this inside the squad's base? Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I guess I'm in here anyways. Hello? Back up, kid. You can't casually waltz in here like you're one of us. Well, if you want in, ring that bell over by the entrance and storm the base like a decent person. Okay. Fine. How can I get around? How do I get around? I don't even know. The treasure hunt is so much fun. I missed it. <laughs> Come back here, ball. No, not the bug. I didn't mean to run into him. No way Nimble avoided the attack twice in a row. <laughs> okay. What's the... Uh, the accuracy is 90. <laughs> and I'm just unlucky. Oh, there's another gym here. So, uh... Oh, yeah? Oh, you're right. I'll try him in, a, in the next time. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll try the gym next time. For now, I'm just gonna do wherever the star road thing is. The slowest swimmer ever. I think I just stole from that woman. So, apologies. There we go. I'm nearing the entrance. I think that's the entrance over there. Who wanted me to do this again? Casapia here. I see you're getting close to one of the Team Star's bases. I take it this means you've decided to join the operation? That's right. Thank you. With this, you're officially a member of Operation Starfall. Hold on a second. Who are you? Oh wait, you're the professor. Does this Operation Starfall of yours have room for one more member? What? Who are you? Oh my god. The name's Clive. Hello, Clive. Oh, and how long have you been spying on us? No need to get your hackles raised. I'm a pal of our mutual friend here. Isn't that right, Pablo? I guess... maybe? Ahaha, ha, shy as ever, I see. We're talking about going up against Team Star here. It's not something you can join in for fun. I'm well aware. I just need to sort out some unsettled business with Team Star, that's all. Besides, I tend to get the job done. Not that you can take my word for it, but it's true. Welcome to the operation, Clive. I think I heard your name earlier, Casapia, was it? Who exactly are you? No questions, or you're out of the team. Team R and Stai. Team Star and I <laughs> share some history. That's all I'll say for now. I see. In that case, I won't press you further. Good. Now back to business. Let's talk Operation Starfall. Simply put, I want you to raid each one of the Team Star's bases. Then you'll defeat the bosses of the team and put an end to their rule. You mean we need to oust these bosses from their role somehow? That's right. Team Star is made up of five squads, and each of those squads has its own base. You should be able to find the front gates of one of those bases now, in fact. Yup, right there. On the other side of those is the base proper, and somewhere within that base lies one of your targets, a squad boss. Okay, I'm starting to get the idea. Well, that's just the outline. The key to the whole operation is the code that the team has to follow. If someone challenges you... If someone challenges one of the base squad bosses at the battle, they have no choice but to accept. And what's more, if they just so happen to lose that battle, they must forfeit their role as boss altogether. I went ahead to initiate you challenges to each base under your name. They're basically declarations of war. Now all of Team Star knows we're looking for a fight. But yes, we are going to break into the base. It's a solid plan with no wrinkles. Your Garden Rally trailer should be would be overrun before they'd get anywhere near the boss. That's why your skills are essential to this operation. Defeat the Pokemon inside the base and drag the boss out from where they're hiding. I've got it. I have a history with Team Star. That means I can't operate out in the open. I'll back you up from afar. Sorry, but I don't trust you completely just yet. For now, I'd like you to monitor the bases and act as Pablo's support. I'll be in touch again when the plan advances to the next stage. Good luck hunting. Let's go kill them all. Doctor? Director? <laughs> okay. I'm Clive, a normal academic... A academy student just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. Goodbye, director. Now let's go in. Hey, you. Fight me. What's up, mask? Whoa, whoa, you you can't be here. This space belongs to Team Star. If you don't clear out real quick, like, I'll have to come at you in self-defense, you get me? I'm not turning back. Well, all right. Time for me to self-defense the snot right out of you. Okay, time to fight. Team Star. Just a little bit too old, but I did see a 60 year old be called the student, so who knows. Houndor, um, Zen Headbutt, why not? Oh, okay, bad choice. You have those glasses, yeah. I should have just used the water pulse. And he's dead. Yeah. He looked just like you. And he's dead. I defended myself alright, but it wasn't enough. Man, you're crazy strong. Wait, are you that kid who declared war on Team Star? That's right. Except I'm fabulous. Yes, you are. Whoa, thanks for the terrible news. Excuse me while I book it back to the rest of my queue. Hasta la vista! V-Star. Hey. What do you have to say, Clive? So-called Clive. Casapia told me to scoop out the fire crew's base. I thought I'd come to back you... To give you some backup now that I'm through, but seems like you're all set. What? What is it? Fire child? Fire child? Is that you? 
Charlos? I thought so. What are you doing here? Is this Pokemon yours? What? What is going on here? Char Cadet. He's one of the Pokemon the Academy takes care of within its grounds. Ah, Charlos, wait. He ran off. It looks like he may have some connection to Team Star's fire crew. I'd better chase after him. Don't worry, I'll regroup with you soon enough. Okay, let's go kill everybody. Woo! I see you dealt with the grunt standing guard. Nice work. Stationed inside the base is Team Star's fire crew. Their boss, Mela, is the best all-rounder of the team. She fixes any and every problem thrown her way, though her methods are heavy-handed. Our declaration of war must have made her bo blood boil. I bet even now her grunts are hard at work inside the base, trying to keep her fury under control. That means your best move is to take down all the grunts, nice and quick. Once there's no one left to help Mila keep her cool, she should come out to confront you. Okay, let's go! Fight, fight, fight! Are you ready to challenge Team Star? Using the first three of your Pokemon in your party? What? Okay. I did not read this rule. Um, You and you two. Why not? No, wait. It's fire. Wait, right? Is this fire? Okay, maybe the cat is not a good idea. <laughs> Nor is... Yeah, okay. I'm going to go with this. Are you sure that it would be good to choose... The breaks in? Because I mean it's fire. Let me see if I have any, um... Not that. I used up all my levels, huh? Yeah, I did. So maybe I can... Okay, no, that was barely a level. Sweet Kiss? How much is Sweet Kiss? I don't even know. <laughs> it causes confusion. I don't know. Oh, but... Metal Smith has really low HP. Mm. What moves do you have? Are they purely fire? They're basically purely fire. <laughs> They're Psybeam. I oh, don't know, I'll go with this. Why not? Let's try it. Team Star. I'm really hoping that Golduck is just going to carry. <laughs> Look at Golduck. Careful now, Pablo. Team Star has a unique way of doing battle. They call it a Star Barrage. To get through it, you'll need to use the Arbon to send out multiple Pokemon and have them battle at the same time. If your Pokemon get low on health, come back here and I'll heal them up for you. The grunts you'll be facing will hear up their Pokemon too, so stay sharp out there. Yeah, Golduck is gonna hopefully carry. Some junked up kids has wandered in thinking he can raid our base. Clearly he doesn't know who he's messing with. Let's teach him a lesson he won't forget. If you defeat 30 of our Pokemon in the next 10 minutes, our boss might just honor you with an appearance. Okay, that doesn't seem that bad. Let's go! Attack! 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 Oh, do they just fight on their own? Oh, I need to send them out in a in turns, huh? Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, okay. This is new to me. I did not know this is how it worked. Metal Smith is dead. Kill. Ten out of thirty, almost there. Where did these guys go? <laughs> fight, fight, fight. Thirteen out of thirty. Where's the more? Yeah, keep on throwing them. Yeah. Fight. Yeah, Tinka Tink is sadly dead, but <laughs> honestly, they were low leveled. <laughs> fight! Okay, there was nobody there to fight, actually. Is that the kid? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, huh. Either way, it was also pretty low level. Only five more to go. One more to go. G goodbye, Growlithe. And there's 30 out of 30 in only two minutes. Our defenses are breached. It's all up to the boss now. Who is the boss gonna be? Whoa, a car. That's fancy. Look who it is. This woman. Hello. Boss of Team Star's fire crew. Mela. You're, so you're the dope who picked a fight with Team Star. I don't know why you do something so stupid and I don't care. You challenged us, so we'll beat you down. That's all there is to it. Prepare to get messed up. Dang, she has anger issues. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> Time to fight! And she has the quick ball! Oh no, it's a turtle! Right here, right now, you're going down! Do I get the rest of my Pokemon or is it just the same three? No, I get all my Pokemon. They even regen Miss uh, Tinkaton. Okay, that did not do a lot. <laughs> this move will torture till there's ain't nothing but la ash left. Lame wheel. 
It's not very effective. What level are these guys? I know, Ash. Ash, catch him. Or catch up. Oh, they're level 27. Yeah. Catch up. And down goes the first one. Torkoal. Revel room? I don't even know what this one is. What? <laughs> I ain't burned into a crisp just yet. The car is a Pokemon. <laughs> what? Ah, <laughs> oh, great. That lowered my defense. Why is his star, his car, the Pokemon? It's a Rever. Okay, that's what the normally looks like. That's crazy. Okay. Blazing Torque. Not very effective, but I have low defense right now. Water Pulse. He's not going to kill me yet, but he's going to kill me in a bit. Blazing Twerk. Great, another speed boost. Um, I have two Hyper Potions here. Let's use them. Hyper Potion. Just don't let him die. <laughs> okay, not too much. He keeps on getting a speed boost though, which just sucks. I got like two more hits. Oh, that did more. Just one more hit, please. And this guy had thir three Pokemon, I think. <laughs> it's super effective. Down goes the Starmobile. Oh, never mind. It was only two. Okay. <laughs> you defeated Mela. Take that, Team Star. Uh, this isn't really how it's going to end. Is this really how it's going to end? What a hassle. And down goes the first Team Star base. About a year and a half ago. Okay. Man, what a hassle. Pull it off just in time. Welcome back, Melly. I managed to get a bunch of Char Cadet to evolve. That ought to be enough to power the Stormmobile and finally get that hunk of metal rolling. Glad tidings indeed. Is that not so, Ortega? I know, right? I saw how she walked. Full leg in front. I'm just surprised she's not all hot air. Oh, shut it with the snide comments. You can't be in such an annoying twerp, you know that? As if you're any better, Mela. Being rude and saying mean things is literally your whole deal. That's not true, Ordy. The girls at the academy have always been jealous of how cute Melly is. She just puts on a surly attitude so they'll stop picking on her. Although, I guess you're not wrong to say that her surly attitude is what people know from her. What? Well, come on, not you too, Harry. How about we leave it at that, folks? It's almost time for the big event. Yes, Operation Star. It's finally happening. And the big boss? What, pray, is their plan? They already got in touch with all the bullies and asked them to head over to the schoolyard. It's finally time, huh? Time. Man, I'm so stoked. The thrill is burning me right up. I burned through everything I had, and now I've sputtered out. Guess this is where it ends. The gold duck of yours really let us have it. Hey, she mentioned the gold duck. Yeah. Why does she talk? Why does she walk like that? Meeting me in battle is such a huge deal. So here, take the star badge and be proud of yourself. <laughs> and there we go, our first star badge. Well, I'm at it. You can have this TM too. Not like I'm gonna use it. Flame charge. She slapped us in the hand. You got what you came for. Now leave me alone. And then there's Clive. You're Mela from Team Star, right? There's a Pokemon I'd like you to see. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? Clive. Ooh. A Char Cadet? Wait. Well, if it isn't Charlos, what are you doing here? It seems he came to the space looking for you. You did? He's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because I used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. I can't even tell more or less what he's just thinking by just looking at the way his flames move. Do you have any idea why Charlos wanted to visit you? What's the reason? Charlos? To me, it looks like he's saying he wants you to come back. Just shut it already, would ya? They say Team Star has holed itself up in these bases to plot something against the Academy. Were you aware of this? First, I've heard of a stupid rumor like that. Man, nothing changed since back then. Everyone's still spouting garbage. Then what about that modified car you were mounting around in just now? The Starmobile? We made that thing a long time ago to help us with a big fight. No, oh, why hassle? But we've never actually used it against anyone before you two came looking for trouble. Not another Arvin moment. You never used it before? And what's this about a big fight? You ever heard of Operation Star? Operation Star? Not 
Operation Starfall? No, this is the first I've heard of it. Huh, yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. But for me and the rest of Team Star, it's a memory we'll always treasure. Okay. I have no idea what any of that meant, but cool. <laughs> Plot. Pablo, it's me. It seems Amela no longer carries his star badge. The symbol of her status as a boss? She gave it to you, did she? I see. Now that there's no boss to lead them, the rest of the scattered squad shouldn't last long. Yeah, I have no idea what the plot is going, but... Oh, Mela. Sorry, got caught up in the, my thoughts for a second. Now about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. Yeah, financial compensation. <laughs> you can now make more kinds of TMs using the TM machine. I took the liberty of adding some new entries to the range of TMs you can make. These new TMs should help you improve your Pokemon's battle cap capabilities even further. In any case, you did some solid work out there. So much so that you deserve an extra reward. Someone from my supply unit will be there soon to give you some materials for making TMs. Cool. Oh, what? This girl. Hello, I'm Penny from the supply unit. You probably don't remember, but you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. I was glad to help. Oh, so you do remember. Um, I'm helping out with Operation Starfall as part of my independent study, you know? The treasure hunt. I'm good with machines and hacking and stuff, so I'll be working behind the scenes. So, here you go, your bonus reward from Cassiopeia. Whoa, Pokemon materials. You should be able to make tons of TMs with those. Cassiopeia said you'd get more rewards each time you take on one of Team Star's bases. Also, I heard all about how you had your Pokemon charge into battle. Seems you were pretty amazing. With a trainer as strong as you on our side, I'm sure their operation will go just fine. There's four more squad bosses left, so, um, good luck. Hi, Penny. <laughs> the EV backpack. And woo, we did it! We beat the first Operation Starfall! Now I'm just gonna get this Pokestop over here, and I'm gonna get off for today. You're still at school. Hey, wait, that's Siklar? What? Where'd he go? What? Hey, you! <laughs> Let me catch you real quick. Go, Duck. Duck is about to die, actually. Maybe this is not the best idea. Duck is gonna die. Oh, okay, what? <laughs> I got- f okay, critical hit. Whatever. Okay, but yeah. I'm gonna end- oh, wait, what? Pommy's evolving! Damn, it does not want me to end. <laughs> no way! We have a Pomo! <laughs> Lovely name. They just changed the letter. Yeah, he just stands up. That's the whole thing. Okay, random, but cool. But anyways, yeah, I'm ending the stream here now. So, Pawcot signature model is broken. I don't even remember. But until next time, everybody, for more Pokemon Scarlet. Next time, I'm for sure gonna get to the point where I can actually fight that um elephant thing. Hopefully, maybe. I guess I'll see. But Palmots, yeah. Oh, move. Uh, I don't know what that one is. Oh, really? Revise one of your Pokemon? That sounds cool. That's a coin! Alright, but... Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, Mask. It's been fun. And yeah, I know it's the evolution. I should get it after. Bye-bye!